actually his nephew. Yeah, the registrar told me you could give me the dates. No, 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 we're just doing a background check. You worked with him, did you say? Maybe this is a bad idea. Ali threatened to send you to prison, Jack. Let him try. If it means getting you justice, I can take it. Right, OK. And, and when did you say he left? Oh, well, that's quite a short contract for such a top job. He terminated it early. Well, thanks very much. All the best. Do you know why? I don't know. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Cheers. OK, listen, I might have something. Ali left a senior consultant's job at a hospital in London after only three months. No one knows why. Sexual harassment claim, perhaps? Well, there is paperwork, so I will definitely check it out. Do you think this could be it? I hope so. Miss Bell. Dr. Shazad. You know, this little hospital really knows how to show its gratitude. They're honouring me with an award this afternoon for my contributions to oncology. If only they knew. Yeah. You're better than this petty jealousy. You know, your obsession with me, it's got to stop. I'm only as good as I am because I care for my patients. That may be so. But it doesn't give you the right to treat people however you want. You have us all tricked into thinking you're exceptional. What's exceptional is your ability to mask your true nature. Be careful, Miss Bell. Could you keep pointing that finger and what little career you've managed to carve out for yourself will be gone in an instant. And I could still report Shaq to the police. An award. <laughs> How could they? So now I have to watch all these people my colleagues, my friends, fawning all over him, thanking him, and all the time, I know what kind of man he truly is. It's out of order. Shaq, we should be getting off our behinds and doing something about it. I'm not sure getting all round is gonna help, man. It's better than sitting here and waiting, isn't it? Anything? He left it early to volunteer abroad during a hunger crisis. Even his unexplained absence makes him look good. It's like he's thought of everything. Mum, he doesn't get to hurt you and walk around like nothing ever happened. Imran. I'll talk to him. Don't let him do anything rash. I don't think I've ever spoken to as many doctors in one day before. I'm running out of things to try. Keep an eye on Imran, would you? He's such a big brother to him. Keep him from doing something impulsive. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry I'm putting all of you through this. Listen, this is not your fault. You can't keep blaming yourself, OK? We're all here for you. What do you want to do? If Ali comes after Shaq, I want a case that's irrefutable. I'm a woman of colour accusing a well-respected man. We need to have something solid. Everyone's making phone calls and keeps talking while that guy's out there getting awards. What else are we supposed to do? I don't know. Something. Your mum doesn't want us to do anything impulsive. Sorry, my mum? Shaq, she's your mum too. Why aren't you angry at all of this? You're a victim. You should want to break something. Anger got me nowhere last time with Ali. Now he's... He's threatening me with jail. Maybe you didn't go far enough. Maybe. Violence isn't the answer now, though. Everyone needs to know what kind of man he is. Otherwise, he's going to keep on getting away with it. We haven't found anything yet, but we're not giving up. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember anything I knew about him from that time. But I never wanted to think about him. You should go home. Think about anything else, at least for tonight. You're right. It's been a lot today. I'll see you both later. They've got to be joking. 
The calf's coffee delivery is delayed by four hours. Is everything all right? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Well, you barely listened to Ms. Burt, and now you're snapping at me. What, do you think I'm going to make anything about me when Mum's going through all this? Yes. It can be about you sometimes, you know? No, it can't. I can't stop thinking about how hard it must have been for Mum to keep this secret all these years. How scared she must have been. She's been so strong and... I can't be the one to fall apart because I can't handle it. But you can't bottle all this up either. Have you told Tom? I've said that something's up with Mum, but... I haven't been specific. At home with him, man can pretend like none of this is happening. I know that sounds silly, but I like having somewhere where all this pain can't touch. Yeah, I think we all feel like that sometimes. But he's your husband. Isn't he there to support you? He's been so patient. He didn't push me or ask for more. I think he knows I need somewhere to feel safe. Look, we've all had our moments, and you're right, this isn't about us. But it's okay to need a minute. We're all in this together. And yes, we need to look after Ms. Bubba. We need to look after each other as well. Uh, Dr. Shazad, I'd love to get a few quotes for the article. I think it would be better if we heard from one of the patients. After all, I don't want to toot my own horn. <laughs> Martine, would you mind? Not at all. What did you think to the ceremony? Um, I thought it was tasteful. And, I mean, we're just all grateful that Dr. Sajad is here. In my case, he managed to give me something that I almost lost. Hope. I've got a question. How would your patients feel if they knew what kind of man you really were? Look, I would just like to say a heartfelt thank you to all of the patients and staff at D Valley for such an exceptional welcome. I came here for Martine and I dedicate this award to her and her resilience and bravery. I, of course, had all the knowledge. But without her perseverance, it would have meant nothing. Yeah, yeah. This man is not the great guy you all think he is. He's not fit to call himself a doctor, and you all should not be rewarding him. He's a rapist! He raped my mum. <laughs> 